Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Libra. Okay, hi Libra. Thanks for joining me for the October of 2015 Terroscope and uh, Animal Totem Cards. Now the Animal Totem Cards are my own creation, the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle Cards, and the deck that I use is the Hanson Roberts Tarot. Okay, so let's get shuffling up for Libra. You know, people comment sometimes, what does this card mean or that card mean, you know, and I'm not missing it. I see every card that's laid out. But when I read, and this is, I tell you this in the book, when I read, it's, it tells a story. So I find that if I have to stop and explain every single card, that um, that's very disjointed. And it's better to just kind of tell the whole story, okay? So let's take a look for Libra. Okay. Well, you've got a decision to make, that's for sure, Libra. I mean, there's some there's some rough spots that are here, but you know you still have the sun card, and and the sun in reverse does mean maybe our, my energy is uh, run down or something like that. But actually, um, it shouldn't be because I was just going to say the sun is going to be in Libra, so I think they're going to they're talking about the sun being in Libra, and also there's a new moon in your sign on the twelfth, and happy birthday for all you um, October Libras. I think I forgot to say it for the uh, last month. I don't know if I did or not, but anyways. All you October Libras, you know, happy birthday. Um, the sun is in your sign, you know. And I, here's something I tell all the signs around your birthday. You know, forget about New Year's Day, unless you're a Capricorn or born around that time. Your new year is your solar return every year. And it's critical that you pay attention to what you're doing on that day of your birthday and your new moon, which is, again, going to be October 12th. So those two dates or that just this general vicinity, these are the important times. This is the time that you want to be manifest. This is the time you want to be centered and paying attention to what you really want to manifest for the year. Just like you do on January 1st. Do your resolutions, all these sorts of things. This is the time to do it. So um, it's saying that in some cases you may be feeling dragged down or, or like you got it's like, oh I gotta fit this in or I gotta get this done. You're going to have to eliminate some things. That's the biggest thing that I'm getting here. You know, in this time, too, people are thinking of you and calling you, and, and there's a lot of activity. Even if it's not just to wish you a birthday, it's just because this powerful energy is in your sign. You know, this, And it's not only just the, um, just the sun. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And the Libra, the nodes are exiting your sign. So this is the end of a couple-year, three-year cycle. So there's a lot going on astrologically. Um, you know, sometimes you guys can be really too nice. I, I said that in one of the astrology videos. So you've got to draw the line. You can't let your energy di be diminished. It's critical that you have your energy centered at this time. This is the time of year that you want to really make your manifestations. There's, there seems to be a lot of people like tugging at your skirt or tugging at you or, you know, trying to get your attention or wanting your time and attention. And you can only do so much. You're going to have to draw the line. You're going to have to say, and maybe you could use your birthday as an excuse, right? <laughs> Listen, this is my birthday, and I want to, I, I feel very strong. I mean, you should do this anyway, but it, not just as a birthday gift. The, you want to be doing, I always try to do on my birthday what I want to be doing for the rest of the year. 
So I always make sure that I'm creative. I always make sure I play music. I always make sure that I go outside if I can. It's winter, you know. All the things that I want to be doing, you know, for the year to come, I make sure that I'm doing that around that time of that solar return because this is that new beginning. This is the time that you're sending out the powerful energy. Um, and not only, again, if even if your birthday is not on or around the 12th, the 12th is that other time when you really want to make that uh, manifestation. You've got to make a decision, and some of you might be moving. Some of you might be moving, making changes to your home. Um, some of you might be like moving in with a partner or a lover or something. You may be making this big decision to like take it to the next step and move in together. Uh, the Knight of Cups is here, and, and this is a positive person in the spread. The Knight of Cups might be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, but usually the water, it, and we will be moving into Scorpio after the 23rd, so it could be around the time of the 23rd that last week or so of um, October. But also, you know, astrology aside, uh, the Knight of Cups, and this could be male, female, whoever, I don't assign gender in these general readings. The Knight of Cups can be um, somebody who's offering you love, somebody you have an emotional connection to. Very often that's the case. Um, it feels like one or the other of somebody is, is got some bad energy hanging on from a past relationship here. So it may be you or it may be the, the person that you're involved with. And it, it doesn't have to necessarily be a new person, but I think in a lot of cases it may be a new person, all right? And I feel like um, there's some bad stuff kind of hanging around, that they, their last relationship didn't end well, <laughs> for sure. And I also feel in, in, in uh, that there's extra people around. You've got these two different court cards in reverse here. Um, so this could have been the wife or the ex, the partner, and the child. It feels like this is the parent and this is the child too. There's a strong connection with that. So it could be like, uh, you know, or maybe it was a stepchild, or maybe your spouse or your ex-spouse lost a, their parent or something. This feels very much like parent-child relationships and towers here. So there's some kind of big, either it's a big fight or there's a big shock or something like that. But I feel like this is lovers from the past, you know. Um, so, I mean, it could be like maybe, you know, if your ex lost their parent, I mean, you would still care even if you're not together anymore. Maybe you knew that parent. Maybe, you know, so there's something kind of like that going on. But it might not be a loss like a death. It could be, um, it's highly unlikely it is actually. It may be more, it feels more like there was a bad breakup. Or maybe your ex is getting hauled back in for, to pay more child support. Or, you know, there, there's some kind of, there's some kind of uh, issues that are rising up with past relationships here. And um, and I do feel in many cases there's younger people involved, a child or possibly a younger sibling or something like that. Uh, it could be your younger sibling that this is, this is happening to here. Uh, the biggest thing that I get, and there's also something about a wish not coming true regarding some kind of school or some kind of program. So I also want to say that maybe somebody, one of these kids are screwing around and goofing off in school or something like that. And another thing, it may be somebody, there may be disappointment about um, somebody not getting into a school of their choice or something like that, or, or an educational program or something like that. On that count, I want to say that that's going to be okay anyway. If, if, if that's the case, like if it's like, oh, I wanted to get into this doctorate program or this master's program or this specific college or this course, you know, this course of study, uh, it doesn't have to be that big high up master's or doctorate. It could be anything, uh, you know, um, don't sweat it. That's nothing to sweat because I feel like in that case, there's going to be something better that's going to roll along. So if some of you are experiencing that, don't worry about it. However, if it's the other thing, if somebody's screwing around in school or getting in trouble, then this is something that you're going to really have to dealt, be dealt with. And it could be, a, I feel like people are trying to, there's too many people taking your energy. That's the biggest focus that I get. And the, so the other big thing that I want to tell these Libras is you guys got to take time for yourself. Be a little selfish, you know, because if your energy is drained, you're no good to anybody. And also the fact of it being around your birthday and being your personal new moon, October 12th, 
You can't have your energy low. Is that what you want to project for the next year here? No, of course not. And it, it sounds sort of airy-fairy and new agey or whatever. It, it, I mean, some of you might feel that way, but it's not. There's real power in this. Your solar return is your powerful time. And it's the last send-off of the nodes. So it's really time for you to think about what you want. Make sure that you have time for yourself. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Um, make sure you're getting out and getting the sunshine because we need sunshine for vitamin D or to produce vitamin D or you know, there's different things that we actually have to be out in the sun time. And um, here in the northern hemisphere we're moving into the fall months, the days are getting shorter, we're going to even shorten them more with this fall back stuff so it's going to be getting dark really early and that's another thing you need to get out and get that sunshine, get that good energy from the sun. Um, you need to make, you, you have to have a sanctuary too, that's another thing I'm picking up about this Four of Rods here. You know, you need to have a place in your home that's a sanctuary, even if it's just a, getting in the bathtub, or maybe your bedroom, or a room that's like off limits to every everybody that's, I, I just want to say everybody wants a piece of you. And see, that's the, that's the upside of the sun and all this energy being in your sign now, that everybody wants a piece of you, but the downside is that there's only so much to go around. And a lot of this feels down here like these are other people's problems, you know. These, this isn't even about you. It's about your ex or your ex's family or your partner's ex and their family or your family or your younger siblings. So it just feels like there's all this other exterior drama going on. And that pick your battles is not really what I want to say, but you have to pick, you know, level of priority. If it's just a bunch of drama, then maybe you don't need to be involved in it, you know. Uh, but if it's something that's real, like this kid screwing up in school and screwing up his life, then maybe you do need to be involved in it. You know, you got to prioritize, yeah. Prioritize where you're going to put your attention. With you putting yourself as the number one priority, you know, that's the biggest thing I want to tell you guys about this spread here. Okay, Libra, I'm going to get these cards out and get shuffling on you for your animal totem for October. But happy birthday, and this is a very powerful time to get everything together. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oh, oh excuse me, I'm going to be right back after I want to tell you about a couple things. Don't go away, I'll be right back with the animal totem cards, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, your animal totem card is going to be coming up in just a minute, but I wanted to take a quick second just to tell you about a few things, including the Soul's Journey video reading, which is really cool and a lot of people are really liking it. It's based on your chart. It's a video reading. You don't have to wait for an appointment. You can watch it over and over again. It's good forever. It talks about past lives, your karma, why you're here, what are you doing here, what are you here to learn, and it's all from your chart in a video format that's very interesting. And be sure to check out some of my other channels, including my children's channel if you have children or you enjoy children's videos and, and things uh, please check it out uh, there's the Green Glen gang and I'm working on a new series that I'm trying to uh, develop right now and get together as well as I have my other music channel on YouTube VV Creative Shorts where I have lots of original music that I would love to see be recorded including a Christmas song that I wrote I would love for somebody to record my Christmas song so please check it out I think I'll put a link and of course uh, we're coming into the holiday season it's a great time to gifts for yourself or for other people uh, check out the Redbubble shop that I have there's lots of merch with different musical and and the mandalas are on there and you could um, there's so, all sorts of great things on there that would make excellent gifts and unique gifts for people that you love and of course uh, this this deck here you can find that under my uh, tapestry of life page and that is the animal oracle beast mistress card which is also available and if you're learning trying to learn tarot of course tarot in the modern world is a great book to get it's a companion guide for the tarot readings that I do and it gives uh, not only the cards but how they relate to other cards very easy to understand and very inexpensive okay back to the animal totem Okay, what is the Animal Totem card for October of 2015 for Libra? You've got the Lion. The thing about these cards, too, I'm going to put it up on the screen. I want you to look at these cards because the thing about it is that there's meant to be messages there in the subconscious mind. I did do that while creating these cards. I'm going to read what I wrote first and then we'll look at it in the context of the reading, okay? Majestic, generous, fierce, proud. Courageous king of the beasts, sublime leadership inspires loyalty, 
delegate authority than bask in the sun. What did I just say? This is crazy how this works out. I just said how you have to get out into the sun and delegate authority. That's not a bad idea with every, all these people clawing at you and all this stuff going on. Uh, clawing is a rough term, but you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. And Leo's are sublime leadership inspires loyalty. So take the lead. It's your time to shine. Take the lead. Don't be running around trying to patch holes in a sinking ship for everybody, you know. Look how the lion is. The lion just struts down, the, you know, takes the time. The male lion has all the other the females do all the hunting and all the work, and they do just lay around all day. Not that you should lay around all day, but you need to take time for yourself. But I was just talking about this basking in the sun thing, and then the, the lion and the leo card shows up too. So that's uh, powerful. Well, the, nobody, um, you know, lion doesn't succumb to anybody. Lion doesn't lay down for anybody, but they don't get upset and get their feathers ruffled either. You know, they just walk around nice and nice and calm and easy and uh, licking their fur, preening themselves, you know. So do a little bit of that. Cause book yourself a spa day or a massage or at least get a petty, many petty or something on your birthday or around that time. Do a little self-love and a self-pampering and because otherwise you'll be no good to anybody. Okay, Libra, thanks so much for liking, watching, sharing donating all these donations and everything we do to help this keep these videos free uh, remember you are love and beauty incarnate have a great birthday and a great month i'll talk to you soon